right, coming up next, it's a UFC middleweight division fight. Well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Well, for my money, he's on the short list of UFC fighters, some of the best fighters to have never realized a UFC championship. Here is Kelvin Gastelum trying to continue his run here at 185 minutes. Yes, yeah, since Kelvin Gastelum has gone up to 185 and stopped depleting himself in those massive weight cuts down to 170, he's only gotten better. And that shows the fight with Israel Adesanya when he had a chance to become UFC interim champion. He went five rounds, he went five rounds hard, he tried to come close a little bit short, but that gave you confidence in knowing that with the heart and the spirit of Kelvin Gaston and the skill, that if he's that close, with a few adjustments, he can find himself right back in the same spot. Our tale of the tape for this much anticipated middleweight encounter. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, some differences in height and reach. And now to get us started, here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting at the blue corner. A kickboxer holding a professional record of 14 wins, two losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 177 pounds. Fighting out of Rome, Italy, Hound Dog. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a wrestler holding a professional record of 20 wins, five losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? So here he is, ready for round one. This man is all the rage, given what he did his last time out. It was a win by flush knockout. Now he'll try to keep the momentum going as the challenges get more difficult. You win in the UFC, nine times out of 10, the next opponent is decidedly better. That is certainly the case here tonight. Going orthodox now. All right, early round one here. We've got an outstanding wrestler on one side of this equation. You gotta think he's gonna pursue that takedown early. You gotta watch for him to get his head moving right away, change his level, shoot for an attack, and anticipate first line of defense and go to a second attack to make sure that he gets the fight exactly where he wants. Nice. Gastelum gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Gotta find a way to move those feet. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Oh. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. That's a great punch. Does a lot of damage if you can hit him with the body that time. One takedown is easy to defend. When you start stringing them together is when guys struggle. Back to the stand-up now. Both fighters right, up so right now. We are on the ground. Now he is in his wheelhouse. We'll see if he can get one of his submissions to pop here in there. All right, well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Now maybe trying to get to a choke position here, DC. Two minutes to go in round one. All oh, right to the mount. All right, half guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal from this dominant position. Oh, man. 
I feel for a wrestler, this is the most dominant position in all of fighting because wrestlers love control. Right. And to have your upper body free and your leg able to hold your opponent in position, it is like striking gold. Build your posture, throw your punches, big damage, but then always control the far side underhook. This is a great position for a top fighter. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop us. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Round two straight ahead. Take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. Are you ready? Ready? All right, round two. finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Whoa! Back to the feet. Oh! Superman punch now. Big punch lands through the middle. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the tie clutch. This is a massive moment for this fighter. Whoa! He's in trouble. Oh, and that is it. Referee has seen enough, and maybe so have we. Your winner by TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity. So a big win for him here tonight and an even bigger statement made by virtue of the TKO. And we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is called to stop to this contest at one minute, seven seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO. Well, can you imagine what the celebration is like in his hometown right now after he gets the TKO win tonight? He said he wanted to leave the judges out of it. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. He left the judges out of it. The judges could have went to the concession stand because once he got his opponent hurt, he was not going to stop until he got that TKO. I was born All right, coming up next, it's the UFC's middleweight division fight. Well, DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arm. It's unbelievable because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure the sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if our fighter meeting on Thursday is any indication, confidence not an issue for this young man coming in here tonight. Well, I'm excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal. 
and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kick. He doesn't always intend on landing it, but he beats up your arms with high kick after high kick after high kick. And as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. Our tale of the tape for this much-anticipated middleweight encounter. Cannoneer is 17 years his senior. He will have a three-inch reach advantage. We set it inside the octagon. Here's Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 16 wins, five losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Glendale, Arizona, USA, Jared the Killer Gorilla. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 15 wins, two losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 177 pounds. Fighting out of Rome, Italy, Hound Dog. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Ben Mergliata. Dan Mergliata. You ready? Well, after a big win by TKO his last time out, this man has returned. So much momentum, a lot of people calling him the next big thing in this division. Big winning streak, he'll try to keep it going here tonight. Good punch, land. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Well, a lot of damage being inflicted here up against the fence, and I guess if the opponent's not gonna move, you might as well continue to throw. It's a oh, beautiful job with the ankle pick to get him down. Now we'll see where he chooses to go from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. He did a great job securing that ankle pick, but he did not react fast enough to secure the top position. And just like that, back to a standing position, we'll see who has the advantage. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly what to throw, exactly what to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him. Know when to hold him. Yep, absolutely. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. Dude's hurt. Serve him. Oh! Go we'll get him. That right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game a full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling, he used his elbows, he used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. The official decision is it. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta has called a stop to this contest. A two minutes, two seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and candidly knocking another man out. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout, but he was never hopeful. He was... All right, coming up next, it's a UFC middleweight division fight. Well, 
ground and pound is a true art form. And whether you're talking about Khabib Nurmagomedov, Jack Hermanson, or this guy, they've all taken it to the next level over the last several years. Yes, it's unbelievable to watch them take control and find opportunities to land ground strikes. Now, what they do so well is he does not waste punches. He usually will find one good shot and take it. He does not try to just go punch, 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 punch for the sake of punching. He finds position, he finds posture, he brings his hands inside, and then he comes over the top with elbows, or he lands the big right hands that makes his opponents hold up, and then he goes to the next position, whether it be sufficient or continuing to ground and pound his opponents into the bottom of the octagon. And of course, it all starts with maintaining top position, which he does as well as anyone in the game. All right, here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight, and he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading a right. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out, but he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their turn. He's doing it on his terms. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker, one of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A wrestler holding a professional record of 16 wins, 10 losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Baldwin, New York, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the former UFC middleweight champion of the world, Chris Wadman. And now to his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A kickboxer, holding a professional record of 16 wins, two losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 177 pounds. Fighting out of Rome, Italy, Hound Dog. And with the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. So Dan Mergliata shares the cage. that this young man brings to the table here tonight. He is one. Oh! Take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Now to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliano has called a stop to this contest at 14 seconds of the very first round. The winner, oh, 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 oh. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.